Hi Virgos, what's up? Jackie here, she hears this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Check the placements in your chart. Virgo, out of the Real Spunk Relationships deck, we have a surprise or a gift or a gesture is coming to you. Hashtag 35 boo. This is the year of karma, the number eight. This is very beautiful. This could be from a spouse, a significant other, a partner, a friend, a family member, a loved one, or even a work surprise. So congratulations. Um, brand new beginnings are ahead for you, Virgo. This card talks about all new beginnings with creativity, manifestations, taking the next steps to do the damn thing. This could happen during fire sign season. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you could have those in your chart specifically. This could also be some uh, sexy new energy coming in too, because if you know, you know. Um, but really taking some things moving forward. Sunflowers could be very significant to you during this time to work on manifestations and creation to bring in that good yellow vitality color here of happiness, joy, and um, just beautiful like positive energies while you create during this time. Um, these new beginnings and creations can be to... You you know, your relationships, because this is going to be, you know, real spug, astro sex, relationships, money, and the spiritual messages with new moon read energy. So this could be coming in during these times, but readings are timeless, whatever, in these different areas. And I feel like for some of you, um, you are creating some brand new beginnings when it comes to money, finances, and career here with these two cards coming out overall, because we do have starting over nest egg resources, saving up opportunities again here, and we have insurance and healthcare. You could be a healthcare provider, industry worker, you could be a nurse, a doctor, a PT, a pelvic floor PT, a therapist, you could um, be a PA, med prescriber, or something else in the healthcare industry, dentist, chiropractor, just there's so many things, right? Um, out of the astro sex deck, we do have Scorpio, which rules the genitals here. So a lot of you during this time, um, there could be some sexual secrets that are being exposed with Pluto retrograde going on with a partner, partner, spouse. Some of you, this could be having lots of intense sex exploring BDSM and kink more. There could also be some um, potentially harmful. I am picking up on this energies with like power dynamics being off balance for those you in partnerships and or just mysteries and fantasies coming in. We do have the chariot card out of this deck overall. So congratulations. You could be traveling for work, moving forward, or just moving forward in a relationship or partnership with someone sexually or in any area of your life. Very beautiful. You could also have a cancer uh, significantly in your life or cancer in your chart because chariot is the um, cancer card of the tarot. But this says charge ahead with confidence, stay strong and focus. Focused. We also have full moon. So celebrate your abundant wins here and show gratitude, burn up a list of what doesn't serve you and make room for major changes coming in. We have 50 and underneath that, very interesting. We have five. So we have throat chakra. Your voice needs to be louder. Speak up. Okay, Virgos, let's shuffle these out. We'll shuffle these out, clarify what we need to clarify, and make sure to check the other placements in your chart, boo. So this is going to be a very short read today. Most important message for Virgo, what do they need to know during this time, please? Most important message here. Make sure you're paying attention to um, animal signs, synchronicities, trusting your intuition as well, too. Uh, animal signs, unicorn, very beautiful. So needing to really work on that confidence here with that 33 in this yellow solar plexus chakra. This says success. Success, hope, freedom, healing, and magic are available to you if you just believe. Believe in your ma magic to like heal yourself, to work on yourself, Virgo, to be confident in yourself is what I feel like telling you with that card. That also came out during Pisces read too. You may have Pisces in your chart significantly as well um, or Pisces in your life too. So that could be important for you to be mindful of. We have Mercury coming in. So it is Gemini season. There's a lot of sexual curiosities arising and communication coming in fast. Number 29 could be significant. You could be going through your Saturn return. You could have a 29 degree or placement in your birth chart. If you do, that's like the psychic knowing degree. You could be psychic. Psychic abilities could be very significant for you overall. Um, and... You may also, that breaks down to an 11 here, be really manifesting a partner or a spouse, really looking in the community and everything like that. However, you may be experiencing some depression during this time, or you just might be tired a little bit too. There's some major changes that are ahead here. You may be like, why aren't people filling in my cup when I'm filling up their cup, sexually, relationally, emotionally, whatever. And this card says communication is coming in fast here. And it sounds like some of you need to talk about with your relationships or partners about things that you do or you don't like sexually. Some of you might need a birth chart read to understand how your Mercury and your Venus might be potentially conjoined in in your in your chart. Or there could be aspects or where these show up when you need to have conversations about who you love and your lovers or partners in your life here as well. 
Uh, once you do this, you're going to be happier. The sun card, the best card in the tarot comes out. You could also be dealing with a Leo. Leo could be in your chart as well too, but needing to move forward with this. Trust your intuition. A lot of you are doubting yourself and your psychic knowing abilities and people during this time. Literally, like you need to trust yourself now more than ever because Spirit's trying to show you all the signs and the synchronicities. For some of you, you don't believe that you are depressed subconsciously and maybe you are blocking this here a little bit. You are. You're stuck in the Lulu land. Some of you might be like, well, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to talk to my partner or spouse about this, that, whatever. Um, Pay attention to snakes. Maybe you need to go back and watch that snake. Someone's wearing a false mask here too. But you might just be like, what is it that I actually want to manifest with this, you know, person sexually? You know, is it this? Is it that? Is it whatever? Uh, Emperor in the reverse. That's like the boss career card. Aries, it's like you're not taking action on your life. You're not bossing up and doing the things to create new opportunities for sex in the reverse or things with sexuality here. Some of you have to work on body confidence. I just heard that came up, Virgo. Um with this don't know why but that's just coming up for someone here okay so i need to work on that with sexuality too tell me about real fuck relationships mm, are you mad at me text or messages coming in hashtag worrier someone has a lot of shame personas and behaviors to work on the personalities the worrier is one you're in your head or this person is in their head overthinking things too much you're wondering if someone's gone silent if they're upset with you and literally Virgo energy in the reverse. This could be Virgo and Virgo action happened during Gemini season, temperance, or potentially Sagittarius. This shows me that someone might be upset in a situation here, and there just may be delays in communication overall. Someone might be upset. Mm. Okay, someone might be upset that you went silent on them because maybe they were texting you for a booty call and, you know, drinking. They just did it while they were drunk or in the reverse. Or maybe people only text you to drink or to hang out then. Or maybe you're just over drinking with nine of cups in the reverse. There could be someone that has a drinking problem that's not balanced in your life and you have to let them go. Someone could be numbing mental health or um, emotions, thoughts, mind with alcohol during this time. I feel like a lot of you are needing to protect your energy right now. Hermit, go within and away from these people. People, but also yeah and then we have strength underneath that you're dealing with a lot virgo holy fuck you have gemini virgo virgo sagittarius and leo here but you have to stand up for yourself in these situations and relationships virgos you need to tell people how these things are making you feel if people are projecting this worry 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 on you then you're gonna just get annoyed by them and if you don't actually tell them it's gonna build up and bottle up and whatever and you might just explode and there needs to be a divine healing here. That's destiny, Aquarius energy, really taking it all in. This could be with three groups of people or a group of people, family members, friends, loved ones. You could be triangulated. Someone could be um, putting you in the middle of something, king of swords. Someone could be really taking the lead in a lot of conversations or you are guided to take the lead in conversations here. World card in the reverse. This isn't going to be successful if you keep delaying this and you don't actually talk about your feelings overall okay some of you might be cutting someone off here too is what i just heard with that sword cut off cut off um most important money finances career what does virgo need to know during this time you have the hand and light bulb wanted to pop out with it. So a lot of creative, lucrative ideas are coming in, inspiration. You could be an entrepreneur, a new job, but really focusing in on the solar plexus chakra with creativity and trusting yourself. Maybe you're a hairstylist because I'm like playing with my hair here. So you like that? <laughs> um, maybe you are a massage therapist here with the hand overall, but we have manifesting money or a Reiki practitioner or something with that. Then you maybe work with the hands or the body, a body worker. Um, but hands-on work and getting help in a job too here. So someone could be assisting you. Maybe you're an assistant. Maybe you're a VA. Maybe you need a VA, whatever. Uh, let's clarify this. Maybe a friend, family member, loved one is, is whatever. You're going within to figure out what your creativity is and what the plan of action needs to be. Spirit's saying... Go within to really understand what you want to create in order to make money, okay, Virgo? And t be very um, aggressive with this. Take the steps. If you want to take action on something and actually create something, make a plan for it. Like Spirit saying, you're done, you're out. You don't need to be in self-imposed restriction. And Leo season, this is really going to come in here. But take steps now before to do that to create what you want to create moving forward. You might also need to like save your money for a raining day. I'm picking up on that or not tell. Um, not always be so giving with your money is what I'm also seeing. Eight of Wands in the reverse. People may be coming into you very, very fast and hot and fiery of like, 
like needing money and moon card pisces yeah someone could be using you for money so be careful pay attention to that here overall barking dogs and a coyote is showing up for you during this time mm, a greedy individual um devil energy capricorn in the upright this person could have an addiction they could have a shopping addiction drinking addiction food addiction could be a family member friend loved one someone older than you or someone like spent all the family's inheritance and you didn't see a lick of it boo so don't give your money away to family especially not during this time even family members friends siblings cousins nieces nephews whatever parents godparents aunts uncles like that is legit showing up don't do it virgo okay uh, most important final messages here, <laughs> Reiki. Okay, look into a Reiki uh, energy balancing healing session to spiritually cleanse your chakras here. Meditate, create a meditation station in your home and connect with spirit daily. And we also have earth. Get outside and practice earthing. Put your feet on the ground here and get grounded. We have dreams. Pay attention to your dreams during this time. The answers are there that you need and call upon your spiritual team for guidance. The shakeup is coming out. So major transformation and unexpected information is headed your way. Be ready. And middle of the deck here, we have attracting better. So make sure you're using the law of attraction to attract better to you in relationships, in your sex life, in money, finances, career, boo. Let go of what doesn't serve you anymore. Relationships, people as well too. If you have to break up with anybody, you have to break up with somebody. That's that, Virgo, okay? Your angels are around you. Pay attention to the numbers, boo. Virgos, make sure to check the other placements in your chart here. Uh, tell me in the comments below how you're feeling about this read and what resonates with you, yo. Hit like and subscribe to my channel, boo. Be part of my shameless squad too. Thank you so much for being here. Stay tuned for more. Stay shameless.